Hello, this is Brian Shivers, Senior Associate Pastor for Formation at Second Presbyterian Church. I'm thankful that you're joining me for Lectio Divina today. Today we will be reading from Acts chapter 12, verses 6 through 11. I will be reading through the text four different times, and each time I will invite you to enter into the text in a little different way than the time before. What I would like to invite you to do at this point is to find a comfortable place to sit, put your feet firmly on the floor, take a deep breath breathing in the love of God, breathe out the peace of God for the world, breathe in the love of God, breathe out the peace of God. God for the world. Again, I will be reading from Acts chapter 12, verses 6 through 11, and I'll be reading from the New Revised Standard Version, if you would like to follow along with me as I read. This first time through, I just want you to um, allow the words to jump off the page at you. Whatever words, phrases, concepts, or ideas seem to stick out, allow them to be. Don't ask any reasons uh, why that might be. Just allow them to jump off the page for you. So again, this is Acts chapter 12, verses 6 through 11. Let us listen together for God to speak. The very night before Herod was going to bring him out, Peter, bound with two chains, was sleeping between two soldiers while guards in front of the door were keeping watch over the prison. Suddenly, an angel of the Lord appeared and a light shone in the cell. He tapped Peter on the shoulder and woke him, saying, Get up quickly. And the chains fell off his wrists. The angel said to him, Fasten your belt and put on your sandals. He did so. Then he said to him, Wrap your cloak around you and follow me. Peter went out and followed him. He did not realize that what was happening with the angel's help was real. He thought he was seeing a vision. After they had passed the first and the second guard, they came before the iron gate leading into the city. It opened for them of its own accord, and they went outside and walked along a lane when suddenly the angel left him. Then Peter came to himself and said, Now I am sure the Lord has sent his angel and rescued me from the hands of Herod. So now I invite you to pause the video and allow the words, phrases, concepts, or ideas that seemed to jump off the page at you to just to sit with you for a little while. This second time through our text from Acts chapter 12, I invite you to enter into a spirit of meditation. And just allow the words to be what the words are. Don't do any interpretive work. Just allow the passage to kind of speak for itself. So again, this is Acts chapter 12, verses 6 through 11. Let us once again, together, listen for the voice of God. The very night before Herod was going to bring him out, Peter, bound with two chains, was sleeping between two soldiers while guards in front of the door were keeping watch over the prison. Suddenly, an angel of the Lord appeared and a light shone in the cell. He tapped Peter on the side and woke him, saying, Get up quickly, and the chains fell off his wrists. The angel said to him, Fasten your belt and put on your sandals. He did so. Then he said to him, Wrap your cloak around you and follow me. Peter went out and followed him. He did not realize that what was happening with the angel's help was real. He thought he was seeing a vision. After they had passed the first and the second guard, they came before the iron gate leading into the city. It opened for them of its own accord, and they went outside and walked along a lane, when suddenly the angel left him. Then Peter came to himself and said, Now I am sure that the Lord has sent his angel and rescued me from the hands of Herod. 
So now in that spirit of meditation, pause the video and reflect upon the words themselves as they appeared in the passage. This third time through our text, I will invite you to enter into a spirit of prayer. And as you pray, consider how it is that you might be called to respond to this text today from Acts chapter 12. Acts chapter 12, verses 6 through 11. Let us enter into this text in a spirit of prayer, asking how we might respond. Let us listen for the voice of God. The very night before Herod was going to bring him out, Peter, bound with two chains, was sleeping between two soldiers, while guards in front of the door were keeping watch over the prison. Suddenly, an angel of the Lord appeared, and a light shone in the cell. He tapped Peter on the side and woke him, saying, Get up quickly, and the chains fell off his wrists. The angel said to him, Fasten your belt and put on your sandals. He did so. Then he said to him, Wrap your cloak around you and follow me. Peter went out and followed him. He did not realize that what was happening with the angel's help was real. He thought he was seeing a vision. After they had passed the first and the second guard, they came before the iron gate leading into the city. It opened for them of its own accord, and they went outside and walked along a lane, when suddenly the angel left him. Then Peter came to himself and said, Now I am sure that the Lord has sent his angel and rescued me from the hands of Herod. In the spirit of prayer, I invite you to pause the video and consider how it is that you and I might be called to respond to this text for us today. Let us pray together. This fourth and final time through the text, I'll invite you to enter into a spirit of contemplation. Contemplate how it is that you might remain in this text and how might this text remain in you for this day. So let us, in a spirit of contemplation, enter back into our text from Acts chapter 12, verses 6 through 11. Let us together listen one final time for God to speak. The very night before Herod was going to bring him out, Peter bound with two chains, was sleeping between two soldiers, while guards in front of the door were keeping watch over the prison. Suddenly, an angel of the Lord appeared and a light shone in the cell. He tapped Peter on the side and woke him, saying, Get up quickly. And the chains fell off his wrists. The angel said to him, Fasten your belt and put on your sandals. He did so. Then he said, Wrap your cloak around you and follow me. Peter went out and followed him. He did not realize that what was happening with the angel's help was real. He thought he was seeing a vision. After they had passed the first and the second guard, they came before the iron gate leading into the city. It opened for them, of its own accord. And they went outside and walked along a lane when suddenly the angel left him. Then Peter came to himself and said, Now I am sure that the Lord has sent his angel and rescued me from the hands of Herod. One final time, I invite you to pause the video and in a spirit of contemplation, consider how it is that you might remain in this text and how the words of this text might remain with you. Thank you for joining me today for Lectio Divina. It is a joy to be with you. I invite you to come back each and every day for another passage of scripture and another time 
of Lectio Divina together. In this time where we are a church deployed, please remember this. You are loved. You are enough. And indeed, you are not alone. Blessings and peace be with you.